everyone and welcome back to Bonjuro Video Academy. It's Summer here and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through Bonjuro's workflow filters. By adding filters to your Bonjuro workflows you can fine tune who is added to your task list. You can set filters to only add customers when they meet a specific set of criteria such as order value over $30 or country equals USA. The main purpose of filters is really to help you focus your Bonjuro efforts on just the right customers. Now, filters are created during the integration setup, so let's hop inside Bonjuro and walk through how to get these set up. When you log into Bonjuro, head to Integrations. If you already have an existing integration you want to add a filter to, click into that existing integration and head to the Filters section. For the sake of this video, I'm going to start at the beginning by creating a new integration. Click Create New, then select your desired tool you are looking to connect with Bonjuro. Select your trigger, for example, when your list has a new subscriber, connect your account, select the desired list, and here's the step to add a filter. In this example, I want to assign US subscriber tasks to my US team, so they will be in the right time zone to get to the tasks in a timely manner. Here you'll see only continue if. For the first box, I'm going to select what I want to filter for. In this case, I only want to bring through US contacts, so I'm filtering by location. So I'll choose the location.country underscore code. The next box is data type. You can choose between text, number, date, time, and Boolean. For this use case, the data type is text. Next up is the condition. You'll be choosing between the various conditions you see here. I want contacts from the US, so I will select contains and finally type in US. You also have the ability to use and or filters if you have multiple conditions you want to be met. For example, you may want to bring through tasks if the user is from the US and has a VIP tag or something of the like. After you've completed setting up the filters, finish setting up your integration. Bring through custom fields so you have more information about the contact, assign tasks to a specific workspace, add a task identifier, remember this is a note for yourself to know why you're recording the contact a video, assign the task to a specific team member, and finally set a default template. And then you're done. Check it and set live. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode about how to create filters. There are so many great use cases for adding filters to your Bonjour workflows. So if you're looking for some inspiration, check out the link to the webinar we did on filters down in the description. As always, if you have any questions, leave those below in the comments, and I'll look forward to hopefully seeing you all on the next episode of Bonjour Video Academy.